Hey, what's up, fellow makers? As you saw in my last video, the Maker at Play Workshop now has a 3D printer. If you missed that video, I'll put the link up here so you can go check that out. And when we get a new uh, toy, I mean tool in the workshop, we want to fully understand how it works and know what we can do with it. Once I had the printer assembled, there are three different types of prints that I want to do right away. The first one is the obvious and the most easiest one and requires the least amount of knowledge. And that is just print the sample item that came on the SD card. Like I said, this is a matter of just putting the SD card in and telling the printer to print. It doesn't take any prep work or using your computer or anything to make any changes. Just, just say go and it goes. So I said that's the one I did right away. Next was to download something from the internet to print. This one took a little bit more knowledge and prep work. For me, the logical place to start here is Thingiverse to find something to print. What I didn't know though is if I could just download a file and start printing or not. So this is where I had to start doing some learning. The quick version of what I learned was that the printer requires a G-code file, and most of the files you get on Thingiverse are STL files. STL files are used to describe the geometry of a three-dimensional object. You have to convert the STL files into G-code files before you can print them on the printer. And the third thing I want to know is how to create my own object and print it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I took my logo and created all the files necessary to print it. Now I'm back at my computer in the office. I'm going to walk you through my process of getting a PNG image file into a G-code file. There are three steps and three pieces of software that I will use. I will start with Inkscape. This converts a raster image into a vector image. Then I use Fusion 360 to load the SVG image and turn it into a model, which then I can save as an STL file. And finally, I will use Ultimaker Cura to open the STL file and to slice it into layers, which will get saved as a G-code used for the printer. All these applications are free, and I'll leave links down in the description below to them. So we open up Inkscape. We're gonna take our bitmap image, drag and drop it on there. With our image selected, we wanna to go to Paths. We wanna go Trace Bitmap. And in Trace Bitmap, you want to Make sure that you're doing brightness cutoff. In my case, I want to invert the image because I want to keep the outline of the actual logo. Move the threshold down some in case you have any gradients. Everything else looks good. And if you didn't, make sure you can check live preview here so you can see the changes as you're changing the settings. That all looks good. I want to hit OK, which does not actually dismiss the dialog which could be confusing at times. So we drag this image away, so now you see we have this image. So now we can close this dialog. This is the image that we want. Do not want to skew it. So then from that, I should be able to delete. Don't need that image anymore. We have this image, we're gonna do file and where is my save as? And see here, I can save it as a SVMG file. So we'll throw that onto the desktop as our logo. We save it. Okay, so now we have an SVG file. So our next stop is we can open up Fusion 360 and we want to Create a new sketch, which I should be on a new sketch. Um, top, we're going to insert, and I want to insert SVG file. Browse to my desktop. Where's my desktop? There you are, select my logo, open it up. our image. That's awesome. Not that I don't think it matters, but I'm going to just go move that a little bit. We hit OK. We now have our image. Next thing we want to do is we can select all of the parts. I want to unselect oop, select the part. I can click, zoom in some, and I want to unselect the eyes because I want to leave those as they are. I can hit E to 
extrude. I want to make it 10 millimeters tall. Hit enter. And now you can see we have ourselves a model of it. Which we could print this, but you'll see that would actually end up being individual parts. Instead, I actually want to put it onto a base. So if I go back to my sketch, rectangle, which actually I'm going to do rectangle from center point. Go from right there. I want to draw a rectangle. Did not center that very well. That'll be fine. As I have that selected, I want to hit E. I want to ex extrude that, say, five millimeters. Hit OK. And now, oh, and turn off my sketches. And now you can see we've got a five millimeter base and we have our logo. Since we did it 10 millimeters, it's coming five millimeters above. So now we have a model. From the model, if we right click over here, we can say save as STL. And I'm gonna take all of the defaults and I'll hit okay. I'm gonna save that to our desktop as our logo. Save that. Now we have an STL file. Our next step is we go into, I'm gonna use Ultimaker Cura to take our STL file, slice it up, and have it generate our G code, which is what the printer will use to print our parts, our logo. So here is Cura. So I'm here, we're gonna open up from our desktop, select our STL file. Not that one. Where are you? Desktop, desktop. We select our STL file, we open. And there is our so there's our logo to print. So now that we have that in here, we click slice and it will generate all of the different layers. We can hit preview and we can see it's going to be 50 layers to print it. So we actually can go down and see that's how it's going to print. It'll print our base and it'll have some filling inside of it. And then it'll start printing our logo on top of it all the way up till it's done. So from that, we hit save to file and also see Estimates it'll be about an hour and 28 minute print time. And throw this on the desktop. Rename this a logo and you see this is our G code file. We can save that. If on our desktop, we can take a look at our logo G code. If I open that up and a text editor and you can see here is the G code that will be used to print it out on the printer. So we take this logo.g code file, put it on the SD card, put it into our printer and print. I hope you got something out of this video. I really appreciate you watching it. If you want to help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up or left a comment down below, give me some feedback. The more you interact with the video, the better it helps my channel because that gives the YouTube algorithm more data to know that this is a video worth suggesting to others. And that helps my channel grow. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Hello. Hello. Won't be in the video? Shane, oh. what show were you watching last night? The boys. Okay, that's what I thought. Did some person die? Lots of people died. Okay. As the James walks through to get a drink, you can come wave hi to the, the fellow audience. Oh, wave hi to the audience, they can. Yeah. And then now you're in the blooper reel. Oh, nice. I'm in the blooper reel. <laughs>